Dog. You need to pull back. You need to distance yourself. You need to do all of the above and which means drawing your attention back. Anything that means drawing your attention, you know, getting your attention away from them, you need to do that. Y'all always wonder, oh, why is she doing this? Why is she playing games? Why is she doing this? Why is she doing that? You always wonder. It's because you care too much. It's because you ain't pulled back yet. It's because you ain't got the balls to walk away. Every problem that you have dealing with these women come from you not what? Walking away. When you walk away. And I don't mean, I'm finna walk away and I'm finna wait for her to take me back. I mean, you know what? Let me get on my grind. Get this damn girl. See, y'all walk away and be like, let me, let me do it for y'all. Y'all walk away. Here he go, y'all. Day one. Day two. Look at the phone. Still ain't text me, man. Day three. Week done went by. Man, this. I'm finna text up. And you end up losing all your power. You lose everything that you work to build as far as your mental power, your mental stability. Let me tell y'all something. You make a big mistake by going through the pullback method and you not staying back. When something happens that a girl, when something happens in which the situation isn't in your favor with a woman, you have to pull back. You have to get rid of your attention. Listen, guys, this is coming from my experience. Whenever I pulled back and I didn't go along, I didn't go 100% with the pullback method, it ended terribly. The woman lost extreme respect for me, and it just got worse and worse and worse and worse. But whenever I pulled back, and I meant it and I just started doing something productive with my time and just stopped caring about that woman and just accepted what she is. Y'all gotta understand something, man. These women wanna be the best thoughts that they can. They wanna, they just wanna be slut. They wanna, they wanna feel empowered, man. And feeling empowered for them, see, feeling empowered for us is, you know, getting on our ground. But feeling empowered for them is just hopping on as many digging sticks as they can. It's trying to act like trying to live a life of a man, basically. You know what I'm saying? So I'm telling you this, man. They do not care about your feelings. Y'all know this. If y'all didn't have an ex or something or whatever, man, they don't care about your damn feelings, dog. You know this. They don't give a damn about your feelings. They do not care about you. They do not love you. It's bullshit. They do not care about your feelings. You have to understand that as a man. The worst thing you can do is think in your mind that this girl cares about your feelings. She don't give a damn about your feelings. That's why she will leave you and go hop on another dick the next day. Because she don't care about you, dog. She already got your replacement lined up. She already got your replacement lined up. I already got it. She bopping in clubs. She doing everything. And you just waiting on her to come back. You just waiting on her to come back. You ain't focus on nothing else. You ain't focus on the future of yourself, improving yourself. All you focused on is waiting on her to come back. You doing this pullback method and you just, let me check my phone, man. Let me check my phone. Like, you steady doing this and expecting her to just magically hocus pocus appear at your front doorstep ready to, you know what I'm saying? Give you jaws. Give you throat. You know what I'm saying? But it does not work like that. Let me tell y'all something about how these women operate. It's almost as if they have a sixth sense when you don't give a damn about them. And y'all know what I'm talking about. Those of y'all who have actually completed the pullback method, they have a sixth sense in which they know for a fact you don't give a damn about them. They understand, listen, and there comes a point in time where you pull back and you really truly in your heart, you don't give a damn if that girl go blow about five, you know what I'm saying? Five digging sticks. You don't even care about her no more. She's gone in your life. You don't care how many dudes she she sleeps with or whatever. You don't give a damn about it anymore. 
And when I tell you guys, women sense that. They sense it. They sense it. I had one situation, man, where a girl, she flaked on me. We tried to reschedule again. She flaked on me again. And so I was like, you know what? Cool. Cool. I, I, I cut my losses. Cut my losses. You know, it is what it is, you know? I'm not finna sit here and cry and get in a box about it, but I cut my losses. And so it took weeks and weeks and weeks. One day she seen me. And you know what she did? She came up to me. She pecked on my face. And she just gave me a hug. Now, me not, me not, see, listen, this is me not even understanding how to maneuver that situation in a position of power. See, when she came up to me and pecked on my face and hugged me, I was supposed to instantly, right then and there, this is just me, you know, telling y'all some, you know what I'm saying, some real stuff. But keep this in mind, though. I pulled back, and she came to me after she flaked. So she pecked on my face and gave me a hug. First thing she did, though, let me tell y'all something. She came in with a group of friends. First thing she did, it was 100 group of friends. Soon as they walked past me and seen me, they all bust out the laughing. And I'm looking, I'm like, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, I'm already know what it is. Whatever they laughing at, it got something to do with me. I already know it. And after they was done laughing, that's when she came over and pecked on my face and gave me a hug. Now, what I should have did in that situation, I should have been very sexual. I should have been very dominant. And I should have, you know, <clears throat> I could have grabbed her cheeks because we was in, uh, you know what I'm saying, a venue somewhere. I could have grabbed her cheeks, done anything. I should have told her, you know what I'm saying, like, hey, trying to go to the car or something, you know what I'm saying? How you finna make this up to me? You ain't finna give me a hug and think, ah, oh, this shit just straight. You finna have to make this up to me. I should, you know what I'm saying? I should have done something like that. But at the time, you know, this is me just not being aware of my situation. But pretty much, this is me being passive. Just to be real with you guys. Me being passive. But I should have done that right there. But she came back after I pulled back, after I stopped giving a damn about what it was with her. Listen, you have to pull back your attention, dog. These girls, they live in their life. If you are not living your life, you got to understand something. The moment a girl does something to you, understand this. She's, I'm going to say this, understand when a girl is, you know what I'm saying? She's just basically making it hard for you to even deal with it you know she wants you to pull back and go on about your day man they can't respect you unless you walk away you have to walk away at all times and whenever a girl does that understand something she wants you to walk away she wants you to walk away and be a damn man and listen what you do when you walk away you don't be checking your phone every 10 minutes seeing as her ass gonna text you back build you a purpose man create you something do something that you can work towards building yourself in times when girls would this is me telling y'all my situations in times when girls would do this to me i would just go to the youtube i would go to youtube and just get the expressing you know because this is my purpose i would get to telling y'all you know what i'm saying what's going on you know and this is my purpose this is what i put above women i let every woman know i do youtube i'm an entrepreneur this is first yes i will make a video about you if you don't like it, you don't have to deal with me. That's how you have to be. When they understand that you have a purpose above them, they get in line. They start chasing because they understand that you don't care. You stop caring and you care more about that purpose than you do about them. You have to understand that, man. You have to let a girl know through it. Do y'all not understand something? Me personally. Any girl that I deal with, if they find out that I do YouTube and they see the type of content I pull out, of course they're going to question me about it. But you know what I'm going to tell them? I'm going to be like, hey, look, I'm going to tell you straight up. Of course, I might do a video on you. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to specifically call you out on it and say, oh, your name. I might even need you to do an interview. But if you can't deal with that, you can go. You know what I'm saying? You have to be that way. That's how I am, dog. They can see all my content. They know I talk about how women do things and this and that, this, then, the third. They know that. And if they try to give me an ultimatum about it, I have to let them know off the rip. You can go. You know what I'm saying? You got to be that way because they'll understand that you're prioritizing, that, they, that you are prioritizing that purpose over them. They'll understand that, man. And that's going to create a level of respect and create leverage for you in that situation. 
But if you are constantly just worrying about them, caring about them, man, they gonna sense it and they gonna do your ass dirty. It's just me keeping a buck with you, dog. They gonna do you dirty. You have to have purpose in your life. You have to have purpose, man. Women know you just waiting on them to get done, dug out, so you can just greet them. Hey, baby, how you doing? I miss you. They waiting on it. They know if they just got done getting a load dropped all over their face, you're going to be waiting right there. They know it. You're going to be waiting right there. So I'm telling you this, dog. You got to pull back and you got to mean it. Pull back and find your sense of purpose of life. Pull back, get on your grind. Because... They're going to play those games. It's going to happen. Why do you think you see all these videos? Every man's greatest power is to walk away. It's the truth. It's to walk away, dog. You know what I'm saying? Because when you walk away, then it's that one time, dog. You got to mean it when you walk away that one time. If you walk away that one time, and when she comes back, you play your cards right, you never had to deal with those type of problems again. Because she know off the rip, you will leave her ass. She know it. A girl is not humbled until you show her that I will leave your ass. She's not humbled until then. This is just, listen, y'all, underdog, man, I, I got to keep a stack. You know what I'm saying? I know, and if y'all in the comment section, y'all can feel me, you know what I'm saying? Come in, I feel you, my dog. I feel you, my G. Because y'all know underdog keeps it raw, but got to show her that you will leave her ass. Show her that you will leave her ass. These girls are heartless as hell. They heartless. They more cold than we are as far as having emotions. A lot of people talk about being emotionally unavailable, this and that. Man, women are emotionally unav unavailable, hell, compared to how some of these dudes are treating them. So I'm telling y'all this, man. You, you, you got to. Pull it back. Pull it back. Leave her ass alone. Leave her ass alone. Get her out of your mind. Don't let her take up space in your thoughts. Don't. But yeah, man, I hope this guys, I hope this can help y'all, man. I hope this can really help y'all. You know what I'm saying? This is just me keeping it all the way a stack with y'all boys. But if you did enjoy this video, make sure you hit the like button. I'll subscribe if you're new. And I'm out.